Well, hello, 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 welcome. Are you guys ready? It's another Facebook Friday, Frilici Friday. The sun is kind of not out. It's still pretty bright out there. So it, I'm gonna count it as still kind of a sunny day. It's the reflection off of all of the snow that we have right now. Hi, Wendy, hello, hello, welcome. So glad you can be here. Um, yeah, so let's see what's going on. It's been, um, well, I have a cold. Everyone I know has been feel so sorry for me. I haven't had a cold in a long time. That's why you're not probably going to feel very sorry for me. Hi, Marianne. Um, but yeah, so if I sound a little like nasally, that's why. <laughs> Lunchtime for you already, Wendy. Well, I guess that makes sense. It is 1130. I don't know why I always feel like it's so early in the morning still when I do this. It's not, obviously. So um, yeah, let's see. I'll just chat for a couple minutes while people hop on. Um, what's been going on? Well, Lily, we went down to um, Toledo, Ohio last weekend for another dance competition. And that was awesome. Actually, what was the most awesome part was that we got to be done Saturday night and um, drive home. Um, so we beat like the snow and ice storm on Sunday. My sister and a bunch of other families had to stay because their girls had more competition dances on Sunday. Um, and they didn't, they were not so lucky, but we were lucky. We got home Saturday night and um, everything went well at the competition. They scored really well on a couple of their dances. Some, you know, they just did all right, which is fine. Hi, Karen, good morning. Um, so yeah, and then, oh, the other kind of fun news, you guys. Um, I was talking about my son Cade had been on on the JV basketball team and it was funny last Friday morning he had to go in early to school to talk to his coach and um, they told him that they were gonna move him up to the varsity basketball team you know just at this very end of the season for the district play that they went into hi Tammy how are you um, just this week so this is kind of a cute thing um, Wednesday was it Wednesday yes yeah, today's Friday they had their first district game um, play and um, they ended up so you know Kate hasn't really played on this varsity team like at all all season long right but at the very end of the game because they were up by like 30 some points um, they put Kate and the other kid um, David is his name they put both of the boys in with like I don't know just a couple minutes left in the game and the coolest part was um, Dave shot a three-pointer and made it and then like 30 seconds later Cade shot a three-pointer and made it and it was so cute because the boys were so excited like that was their first like varsity play um, experience and they both shot and made their three-pointers and the funniest thing was like the crowd in both cases just roared they were like you know totally like just super um, excited and supportive of them too so it was a good like beginning um, so we're back to another basketball game tonight and hopefully um, they beat them really well too so Kate can get in and play for a few minutes so yeah it was very very cool they it, it the funniest thing I mean Kate the huge grin on his face his arms were like flailing all over the place like a little boy almost he was so excited uh, that he made it so it was cute it was one of those like proud mom moments we're like oh yay good job buddy so anyway like oh I get all like emotional just like talking about it so it's fun right like I always say it's so fun to watch your kids do what they love and you know when it goes well you're excited for them so um yeah let's see so today is March 1st this is awesome you guys I wasn't even gonna I, I have to jump right in March 1st the celebration coordination products are available we can all order them now so I know I've kind of been teasing you for the last couple of weeks because as demonstrators we've been able to order them but now as a customer anybody can order the celebration coordination products so let me I'm going to grab them. I kind of have them scattered around because of course I'm still using them. I have to show you guys some more fun projects with them. But the first is the <clears throat> that More Than Words stamp set. So this stamp set, you can order it now. It is, um, it says it's a 17 piece photo, photo polymer stamp set and it's $17. And I'll um, put the link. Um, hey Sally, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. I'll put the link um, on the Facebook group um, for you know all the information for the item codes and everything so if you're ready to order these you can do that right away so yeah this is that awesome stamp set and of course it's gonna be backwards but we've got um, and this is the fun one the more than word stamp set it basically coordinates with um, like the Hello Cupcake stamp set, the So Happy Together stamp set, the Lasting Lily stamp set. Hi Kathy how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Um, 
yeah, so anyway, this is just a fun set that will kind of be in addition to the other celebration um, sets that we already have. That seems like it's really making a glare as usual, um, but it'll kind of add to, you know, what you could already do with those original celebration stamp sets that maybe you've gotten. Now you can add to it with this. So the sentiments say, today calls for something sweet. There's that fun wishes with kind of like the um, little mirror image wishes there uh, because adulting is hard. I think that's so funny. I haven't used that one yet. Um, then these kind of work in conjunction with others. So there's an Easter, a bravery, a birthday, a Christmas. Um, you have so much courage, strength, and I think and bravery would be good together. Leaping for joy is easy to do is one sentiment. It says, when I have a friend as amazing as you, um, there's the jumping by and hopping in and a thanks for... Um, what was I using that? I'm going to use that one. Well, I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Um, something looks, oh, maybe bravery looks beautiful on you, uh, with extra sprinkles on top. And then there's a new Year's. So lots of different, hi Sandra, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Um, lots of great sentiments on here. And like I said, it's a photopolymer stamp set. So it's clear. You can see all the way through it. Um, you guys re might remember, cause I had a lot of fun with this one. Sandra, you were the one that was asking me about this. Um, so I did the, this one does say, yep, it says Christmas and wishes. So this is part of that stamp set with the wishes right there. So, oh, oh, <laughs> you have a note from your mom for being late. Okay, <laughs> that's the only way it's allowed, right? Oh, that's super cute. <laughs> that's funny. You know what? We're all, you know, as, as close as you can get, right? That's how I live my life anyway. Um, so yeah, so this is one of the cards that we made that uses that um, More Than Words stamp set, right? Um, I was trying to see, oh, this was the other one. Here's that. You have so much courage, strength, and bravery. I haven't demonstrated this card, but it is a beautiful, beautiful sentiment. I love that. Um, and then this also features some of the Painted Seasons stamp set on there too that you can get for free. That's the stamp set with the designer series paper that you can get for free with a $100 order. Oh, oh, that's cute. You have an alarm on your phone. Very nice. Yeah, it seems like maybe a few people do that because you guys are always so good about joining me, which I totally love. I love having you guys all on here with me because otherwise, you know, it would be kind of funny if you're like truly feeling like you're like talking to nobody, even though maybe later people watch. It still is like fun to have people like truly on here on the live. So yeah, let's see if I have others. Well, here's the birthday wishes. I love that cursive. I love, 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 right? Um, that might be it for those. So then the other celebration coordination products are, where are those? So I have some, I don't have all of them, but the Lily Framelit. So these coordinate with the Lasting Lily stamp set. Oh, and Karen's saying she loves that bravery card and the color combo, I know. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? That's funny. I mean, I only set my alarm on my phone, but it's probably a really good thing to do for other things too. So I'm glad you guys are up on that. I'll have to think about that for other times I might need that. So yes. Okay, so this is another item, the Lily. I think they're just called the Lily Framelits. These are $27 and these are going to cut out all of the images in the Lasting Lily stamp set. So you can order that today. Yay. Um, the Call Me Cupcake Framelits. I don't even have this one yet. I kind of um, maxed out my budget basically so I wasn't able to order them earlier. So I'm going to try to get those um, yet this month in March and show you guys some fun stuff with those. And then the Hop Around Framelits. And I've kind of pulled those um, apart because I'm using them today on a project. So here are some of, I love that little lily pad. Again, these are gonna cut out a bunch of the images. There's this other little froggy, we're using that framelit today. And then I'm calling these lily pads, I don't know, there are two of them, but you get those guys in there also. So that's a great set of framelits. And actually all three of those sets of framelits, the lily framelits, call me cupcake um, thinlets, and hop run framelits, those are all $27 each. And available now, right? And then the last one is the Four Seasons Framelits dies in terms of framelits. So this is the one that coordinates with that Painted Seasons stamp set, right? So all the images in the stamp set can be cut out now with your new framelits. Um, this set of framelits is $28, okay? And then the last one, the other final celebration coordination product is, this one's called the Story Label Punch. 
and you might remember I know everybody wants all these things right because you probably have the like a lot of these stamp sets so of course you need to get the framelits now to cut them all out. Hi Philomena, good morning. I'm glad you can be here with us. We were just talking about all of the celebration coordination products. I was trying to see if you guys remember last week, this card was the one that, um, that I demonstrated. And so that's that story label punch um, right there. So that punch is $18, okay? Um, I think I've shown everything because I was looking. These other cards don't use yeah so I think we're good I've grabbed a bunch of stuff to show you guys and now I'm like well that doesn't even have the celebration coordination products on it so anyway oh let's see <laughs> Karen you can finally use your frogs because your framelits came awesome I know well you could have stamped them before but if you wanted to die cut them you know you could fussy cut right until you got your framelits but you know might as well hold out right until you get your framelits um, so, okay, yeah, so just know that. You guys can order that anytime. And I know I did have some people um, that came to my scrapbook class, which was just earlier this week, and that class generally meets uh, the last Tuesday of the month. I actually have to bump it up a little bit because we're on spring break, which typically I don't go on spring break, but this year we are actually going to Florida, so I'm super excited about that. But my point is that they didn't want to wait until the end of the month because they're kind of afraid that some of these, oh, someone's pulling in my driveway, but I think they're just turning around, I hope, because I don't really want to, yeah, they're just turning around. <laughs> that kind of freaked me out. I'm like, I can't talk to you right now. We're doing Facebook Live. Uh, it's funny though, because I do have another friend that like says, one of these days, I'm going to just drop by on your Facebook Live to say hi, which I think would be totally hilarious because she's like a total like zany fun friend. So <laughs> she would liven things up for me. Um, so totally lost my train of thought. Oh, okay guys, what was I talking about? Ordering this stuff? Maybe. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. <clears throat> So um, people at scrapbook class, they don't want to wait until the end of the month. So I had a few people give me orders already. So today I can put their orders in because it does say that all of these items, the celebration coordination products are all available while supplies last. So, and you know, we have sold out of things. I am a little bit surprised at the number of things like, you know, the other celebration stuff we've already sold out of. So don't wait. If you guys want these things, Put your order in, go online, use the host code I'm gonna give you in a little bit, or email me your order and I can put it in for you. Just don't wait if you want something because I don't want anybody to be disappointed that they didn't get what they wanted, okay? Um, so let's see, I'm already like, phew, everything's everywhere. Already. Okay, hold on. So because I, I'm like, uh -huh, I need to get some water. So hold on one sec. And I'm gonna check my notes too real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna be right over here doing that. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> like I should stand back further so you guys can't hear me as I like snort. I really want to do that, but that would be really rude. So I've got my Kleenex in case I need it. <laughs> TMI, I'm sure. Sorry, ladies. Um, okay, yep. So we got all that. Okay, I think we are ready. Let's do our first drawing. You guys want to? So today we're giving away one of those items that have already sold out, the um, wooden butterfly elements. This is the celebration item that now the only way you can get it is right here today on my Facebook Live, right? So you guys know the drill, or maybe if you're new to Facebook Lives, maybe you need a refresher, you get one entry in the drawing for commenting on today's Facebook Live. You get three entries if you share today's Facebook Live post. Just make sure you put a comment on your share too. That's how you get your name in that drawing three times. Also, my random day that I picked was Friday last week. So any post that I did on Friday last week, if you commented or shared, or if you posted a picture of a project you made last Friday, you get three more entries in the drawing. And then the last way is if you are new to me and you sign up to my email list, you get another three entries. So I have a ton of little paper slips in here. We're gonna shake these all around. And one lucky person, <laughs> pick me, pick me, Sally says. I know, there's a lot of that, right? Especially if you didn't get those little wooden butterfly elements. Um, Okay, so I've got just one name in my hand, and oh, 
It's Miss Sandra Johnson. Congratulations. Hi, Darlene. How are you? I'm glad you could join us. So, Sandra, I will get these sent out to you. Awesome. Good for you. Um, okay, so now I have to dump these things out because I do. I'm going to do a. Oops, there's one more in there. Make sure it's all empty. I am going to do another drawing in a little bit, too. Um, so, good morning. Good morning, Darlene. Do you guys want to know what we're going to give away? this week kind of excited about this too so I have another one of those uh, free celebration items that have already sold out this is I didn't even open it yet I don't want to like damage anything you're welcome so much Sandra <laughs> I'm excited for you so this is the precious parcel card kit and I'm going to try to get as close as possible. You guys maybe have seen this in the um, celebration brochure, but it's already sold out. So again, the only way you can get this kit now is if you comment or share or post a project on my random day. You never know. So you might have to post a project every single day because you don't know what day of the week I'm going to pick, right? Or if you comment and share on any post, any of those days, that random day that I pick, your name goes in the drawing, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, basically, just comment and share all week long and your odds are really good of getting your name in the drawing and potentially winning this precious partial card kit. And thank you guys so much for the shares. I really appreciate that. I love trying to reach new friends and new stampers. So thank you because you your friends are my friends, right? Hopefully. <laughs> uh, so this is just such a cute card kit. Um, let's see, they kind of show some pictures, but in the in the celebration brochure, I feel like they show a little bit more. So you guys can see. Thanks for the share, ladies. So this is what we're going to give away. And does it even, I, I didn't even get one of these, to be honest. Um, there are four each of two different designs. Plus they have the super cute envelopes. They're kind of like old-fashioned like airmail envelopes or something. So they, yeah, and Karen says they're beautiful and so easy to do. I think yeah, that's the beauty of them is how simple they are. They're great for, they always try to do different levels of products, and I think this is definitely one of like brand new stamper kind of products, or just when you need something quick and simple. And can you see, they've got um, some fun, uh, the glare, always the glare, right? So we've got some twine, we've got some like little vintage paper clips, and I love all of the beautiful, oh my gosh, now I'm like, oh, I want to open it and see it. But that's okay. I'm going to give it away. So next week, we will be giving this kit away. Um, oh, Sally, you have a new person for scrapbooking. Awesome. All right. I'll be glad to meet her. Let me know what her name is, okay? Um, all right. So that's next week. We'll draw for that, right? Um, oh, okay. So and Darlene is on here. So can you guys all say welcome to Darlene McPhee. She is my latest inspired stamper. She just took advantage of that awesome starter kit deal last, well, this week, right? She bought the starter kit. She picked $175 in product and paid only $99 plus sales tax, no shipping. That's only $104.94 here in Michigan. $175 in product, plus a paper pumpkin kit valued at like $20. All the business supplies that you need, like all your catalogs and um, order forms and some other like brochures and things. So it's an awesome, awesome value. So if anybody's on the fence, I know I mentioned, so at the very end of the month, you guys are sweet, Darlene, or um, Sandra and Philomena and Marianne. Look at you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, guys. Darlene is a wonderful, wonderful friend, and I've just kind of gotten to know her in the last little bit. Um, her daughter-in-law, Sean, brought her to a bingo event. Um, I think it was in the fall, right, Darlene? So, yeah, you're, she's so excited. So, yeah, now we got to help get your first order in so you can take advantage of all the celebration benefits. And you guys know that, too, right? That So demonstrators get all the same perks that customers get. Like when you put an order in of $150, even as a demonstrator, you get the host benefits. You, If it's $150, you're going to get those three free celebration items. Um, I've talked to a lot of people about like what I kind of call the sweet spot right now during celebration. If you can either buy it all by yourself, which is big, or get a combination of people together, if you get, <laughs> Darlene was hooked at the first bingo party. I know it's easy to do it's easy to get cooked because everything is so cute and coordinates right um, but yeah so the sweet spot 
I have, and I haven't been telling enough people about it, so like all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I gotta make sure everybody knows about this. So if you put a $250 order in, which I know sounds like a lot, maybe you can't do that all by yourself, but get some other friends and family together to put that $250 order in because during celebration, Stampin' Up! rewards additional host benefits for a $250 order. Normally, you get 10% host rewards on a $250 order, so that'd be $25 free, but Stampin' Up! kicks in another $25 in free stuff. So for a $250 order, you get $50 in free stuff, and you would get five level one celebration items. You could get the $100 items, you know, and then that would, you know, make it a little bit different. But basically, um, $250 order is five free level one celebration items and $50 in free stuff. So basically the whole um, time of celebration, I've been trying to not put an order in of less than $250 because I'm like, uh, basically, I'm not getting that $25 in free stuff if I'm not able to put that $250 order in. So that applies, like I said, once you buy the starter kit, all those benefits to customers or however you want to look at it are available to demonstrators too. So it's an awesome time we have until the end of the month now. Oh, that was the other thing that popped into my head. I'm thinking about, so that last Friday of the month, I don't know that I can even tell you what the day is. Uh, well, maybe the 29th right the 20 yeah because today is the first so yeah the 29th of march i won't be doing a facebook live because i'm going to be down in florida and i'm not going to be doing facebook live down in florida sorry ladies <laughs> um but my point is that that is it's kind of freaking me out because it's the very end of celebration too which can usually be a little bit of a hectic time because people maybe wait to the last minute to buy the starter kit or put that last order in so i'm kind of encouraging you if you're interested in putting an order in to get those celebration benefits, do it sooner than later so that I'm around and able to help you. It's not that I won't be available to help, but it'll just be a little bit spottier and not quite as convenient um, to help at the end of the month. And then also a lot of times people wait on that starter kit till the very last minute too. So help me out and sign up before March 22nd, I would say, because I think we leave on the 23rd. Third, um, maybe even we leave on the 22nd I don't know so anyway if you're thinking about it get that starter kit sooner than later or put your order in sooner sooner than later because also some of those celebration items have been selling out too so don't wait till the last minute and then maybe you won't be able to get something that you wanted okay um, <clears throat> I can feel the tickle in my throat coming I think I have mint somewhere over there. I might have to run and grab one if I start like, once that little fleck hits my throat, then it's like over for the whole time. It's very annoying. Okay, so um, yeah, so back to welcome to Darlene. So we're glad you can join us and I would love to welcome lots more Inkspired Stampers into our group before the end of celebration. So let me know if you have any questions on that awesome Basically, like Darlene said, she fell in love. She was hooked at bingo. She wanted a whole bunch of stuff. And so she decided, why not get that awesome deal and then get 20% off of all of her orders after that? Because when you want to, I know that's what happened for me in the very beginning. I was, you know, I got hooked too and I just wanted to get um, all that stuff. And so why not take advantage of the deal and then get your discount too? So it's kind of a no brainer, but if you have any questions, let me know on that, okay? Um, Okay, so you guys, now we are gonna draw for, and I forgot to bring them over, so I'm gonna have to show you um, the ones that I'm using on the card too. I'm trying to be better about that, like things that I'm giving away, I'm trying to like show like how you can use them. But so the hop around, yeah, they're called the hop around framelits. So sorry, these are kind of pulled off, um, but these are the ones. So we're gonna draw for, there's that little guy, and then those two, there are two of these, the little lily pads, right? So. Your name went in the drawing. I actually had online orders last week. I was very excited. So I gave away something good and people like jumped on it, right? They hopped on the hop around framelits. So let me put those names. Where did they go? They're already in there. Okay. So yeah, your name went in the drawing if you put an online order in of at least $30. And so I should clarify, you only use the host code 
if your order is under $150 because I had a couple questions on that. Don't ever use the host code if you order more than $150 because I want you to get the host benefits all by yourself. Your name will still go in the drawing because obviously that's a wonderful order for me and I truly appreciate every single online order. No matter what size of an order comes in, I, I truly appreciate every single one of your orders. Um, but your name goes in the drawing. You're going to get the chance to win those hop around framelits. And then I'm also sending these cards. I'll just show these two right here. So anybody that put an online order is in is going to get these two cards in the mail for me. And then one lucky person is also going to get the hop around framelits that I'm going to draw for right now. So let's see. Shaking these names around. There aren't nearly as many in here <laughs> as there are for the other one. But let's see. Let me make sure I get one name in my hand. And let's see. Oh, it's Miss Debbie Friday. So congratulations, Debbie. You are the winner of the Hop Around Framelits. That is awesome. So I will get these sent out to you, Debbie. Um, let me put that right underneath there so I don't lose it. Okay, so you guys want to know, where is it? What am I giving away this week? Where did it go? I'm like crazy. What am I? Oh, yeah, it's right here in front of my face. Sorry. I was looking, I was looking at it for another purpose. So this week, if you guys have not taken advantage of celebration with that, um, oh, here we go. <coughs> That bundle, the Painted Seasons bundle, I kind of broke it apart because I still needed some more designer series paper for our scrapbook pages that we made this week. So I'm like, okay, I have an extra of the Painted Seasons stamp sets. So this is what we're gonna give away this week. If you put in at least a $30 order online and use the host code, your name is gonna go in the drawing to get the Painted Seasons stamp set. Yay! So if you don't have this already, another um, an awesome way to get this, okay? So next week we'll draw for this one, okay? All right, hold on, I gotta get another sip of water. Um, oh, okay, do you guys wanna see? Have you been enjoying? I am really like loving the product of the week because it just really helps me focus on kind of one set of products each week and show you guys lots of cute projects made with those. So here I am trying to like spruce this up. So I wanted to show you guys I can't remember if I've showed this already or not. I, I don't think I have, but maybe I have. Because I gave these to everybody that came to bingo last week or um, all of my club members during the month of February got these as their club member treat also. So this is, can you see it says, I just adore you. It's a little bit covered up there. <laughs> gulp, gulp, huh, Sally? Um, but so um, it features, of course, the product of the week that floral nikki hello how are you the floral romance designer series paper on the little mini treat and then also some of the vellum that's in there too and then those floral romance seals so hopefully you got this nikki because i blew it i meant to send these little treats out to everybody that played online bingo too and i really thought that i put them in the packages and then i asked everybody and they're like no we didn't so i did show these didn't i i showed them last week well whatever i'm showing them again because i love them so much they're the product of the week and I did do a video I have yet to actually get it up onto YouTube in the next couple of days watch for that good I'm glad you guys you got yours too uh, Philomena um, with a little it holds a, it's like a little pocket that holds a Giardelli chocolate just received yours good all right awesome Nikki I'm glad um, yeah and like I said I apologize guys I really thought I sent those um, to you earlier um, with your original um, you know goodie bag and everything so I'll know that will not happen again next time um, for uh, online bingo I promise um, but yeah so watch for the YouTube channel I will have this video up this is basically made with the envelope punch board it's super super simple but I love making these little treats and the little pocket is perfect for that little um, Giardelli chocolate it fits in there just right and it just kind of peeks out there so I love making these cute treats for everyone that is in club and I have to tell you guys so we have a couple more weeks left of the club member drive so 
I'll tell you the different opportunities to join a club. You still have a couple weeks left. Right now, during the club member drive, if you sign up for any of these clubs, you get to pick a free celebration item. I'm glad it was a nice surprise, uh, Nikki, thank you. Um, so yeah, this is awesome, right? So um, you just can only pick one of the available celebration items because I don't really have any back stock of anything that's already sold out. But if you're, if you're on the fence, let me know if you have any questions. So locally, we have the Simple Beautiful Card Club and the Scrapbook Club. Basically, it just means you wanna to come to class every month. It's a 12-month club. Just come hang out with me, play with my stuff, make cute stuff. You just have to put at least a $30 order in each month when you come to class. I always make those cute treats for you. One month, you are the host of clubs, so you get all the free stuff from all the orders. Put all the orders together, whatever the dollar amount is, is of free stuff. It's always at least $30, I guarantee that. And then hopefully it's much more than that. Um, so those are the two local clubs. Then we have the card club to go, which is basically the cards from the Simple Beautiful card class. I send you those free each month. You put an order in, use the host code that I give you. Um, and then again, one month you get the host benefits, you get the cute little club member treats from me each month too. And then you get a free celebration item if you say you wanna join that club by March 31st, okay? The last club opportunity is the class to go club. And I will tell you guys, anybody that ordered the How Sweet It Is class to go kit, I'm working on getting those together and those are gonna be shipped out no later than Wednesday this week. I'm hoping maybe even sooner than that. Um, but that is the last um, club option is the class to go. Basically, there are always like three or four different options that you can choose from. So you can pick what fits your budget each month if you want to get the full stamp set and framelits and the whole kind of kit and caboodle um you know you can do that or if you just want to get some of the more basic option you can do that um, but basically you want to say like i'm going to do the card club to go or the sorry the class to go kit i'm calling that one um, that club each month for 12 months decide what um, option you want to get um, let me know that I send those out to you every month you get those cute club member treats from me you get host benefits one month and you get a free celebration item if you sign up by March 31st so awesome awesome deal let me know if anybody has any questions on any of those club opportunities I will post that link um, in the comments to this uh, Facebook live today also okay all right um, oh, and I'll have the next class to go. I don't know if I said that already. I'm working on that one right now. So uh, by next Friday, I'll have that all finalized and I'll be able to show you guys the next class to go on Friday, Facebook Live next week. Okay. Um, all right. I think, <coughs> I think we're good. So let me, I'm going to move the camera. I've got a couple more things to show you guys and then we're going to do our stamping. Okay. So bear with me. Actually here, let's move. I have everything piled up on top of my grid paper. I need to get that over here. So, okay, all right, turn your heads away for a sec and we will get this camera flipped. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Why does this look backwards? I think I'm gonna do that. All of a sudden I'm like, what's the button that I push? <laughs> that was kind of funny like totally having a moment but there we go okay oh also there's a new host code that started today on March 1st so if you put that minimum $30 order in online by this Wednesday hi Sean how are you you're gonna get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a couple minutes and your name is entered into the drawing to win those hop around framelits dies um, like I said, I forgot to bring the, the one over here that I'm giving away. I have the one I'm using, but you guys get the idea, right? This is the new host code. It's BM9KZG2E. And this will be on my blog, uh, gatheringinspiration.com. It's always there all month long. So if you forget it, just go to my blog and grab that there, okay? Then you guys know this, if you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment for me, plus you get a free celebration choice right now, too. Okay. Oh, my throat. It's giving me trouble now, ladies. Okay. So, I have to show you guys. Let's see if I can do these. Yeah. So, we had scrapbook class earlier. I guess I can't. I can only do one at a time, can't I? Okay. So, that's what we're going to do. So, I may have showed, because we actually made this page... 
last month in January. So I'm going to show you the coordinating like two page spread. So because each month we make a two page spread and then a single page spread that the next month we make the other half of that two page spread and another two page spread. So in January, hopefully that makes sense. Oops, those are popping out. We made this page right here. So it features that Hello Cupcake stamp set. Now we could even be die cutting all that stuff out with our cupcake framelits, right? So then here is the other half that we made this month in February, um, just this week at class, the last Tuesday of the month, right? So those that's our coordinating two-page spread, right? Then we also made these pages, and I just had to show you guys these because they feature a bunch of the Painted Seasons bundle. So we've got the Designer Series paper right along there. We've got that beautiful flower stamp. Oh, and then my favorite sentiment, here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it from the part of my story, celebration stamp set. We, we did use some of those wooden butterfly elements that I had to tell everybody, because of course I designed these a little while ago, back when they were still available. That just happens sometimes, so it's just how it is. And then here is the other half of, so this was the other two page spread that we made. So here's the other half. Thank you, Karen, I'm glad you like the scrapbook pages. And you guys know this, I tell you that a lot of times I'll pull elements, like this is kind of an element that I used on one of the cards. So I love to do that, to kind of pull elements that I put on um, a card that I made and put it on my scrapbook page. And I always kind of start with my designer series paper or whatever suite that I'm using and then kind of go from there. So you guys can see. And actually we had fun with this one because so we inked up this stamp in Lemon Lime Twist Ink and then I used my little sponge dauber with the Call Me Clover ink on the inside there. Can you see that? So we kind of added a little two-tone action on that um, stamp right there. And then of course everyone loved the pine cone. And those are the framelits. So right, the framelits right there that you can get now. And then there's the, whoops, sorry, I bumped that. There's the flower one there too, right? So those are the painted seasons framelits that you can order now also. So yeah, I just had to show you guys, those are the pages that we made this month at class. So yeah, I've got some fun ideas for um, scrapbook pages for next month too. So yeah, at the end of and actually, anybody that comes to scrapbook class, I've been trying to make sure everybody know this knows this that because, and I don't have my calendar here right in front of me, but I think I can do it. Um, scrapbook class is always the last Tuesday of the month, but because we're going to be away on spring break, I had to move it. I think it's the 26th. Normally, we would have scrapbook class at the end of March. I bumped it back to the Thursday just before, so it's Thursday, March 21st from 6 to 8.30 p.m is scrapbook class in March only. I really try not to change those dates, but that was one I couldn't avoid because, you know, spring break is whenever spring break is, and I can't really do a lot about that. A lot of times we don't go anywhere, so it's not a big deal, but this year we are taking the plunge. My sister found a neat spot for us down in Florida, and we've kind of talked over the years about wanting to go do that, so here we are. We're going to go do it this time. So, okay, I think... Let's, let's do our stamping. You guys ready? I'm going to get my grid paper, make sure that I'm in view here. It's funny because I watched the view, um, the video back last time, and I always think stuff is in view and then it's not quite. So if you ever can't see something, let me know, okay? Because I, I feel like I'm doing it right, and then I look later and I'm like, eh, it was okay. Um, okay, so let me show you. Let me make sure I have all my pieces out here. <clears throat> our first card <laughs> this little guy is so cute so I used my froggy my um, hop around framelits so that's why I had this this little framelit pulled out so this cute little dude with the lily pads and it says thanks for hopping by and then of course I had to feature some more of our product of the week that um, floral romance designer series paper Oh, Sally, you're setting your alarm for the 21st. Can you do that? You can set alarm way out to the 21st. 
That's awesome. Maybe you can. Yeah, good, good, good. That's a good idea. Uh, okay, so I want to show you guys how we put this together because obviously we used this cute little So Hoppy Together stamp set and then our new Hop Around framelits. We also used some other framelits that I'm going to show you guys um, in just a moment. Okay, so actually I'm going to put that guy right up there. Um, what do we want to do first? Let's do our stamping. Nope, I'm going to tell you measurements. Yeah, because then I always forget otherwise. So, okay, here's our card base. This is a Mossy Meadow card base, okay? So we've got our 8.5 by 11 cardstock. We cut it in half at 5.5 inches along the 11 inch side. And then along the 8.5 inch side, we scored it in half at 4 and a quarter inches, okay? Oh, Sally, I'm glad. Yes, oh, yay, she says, and Marianne loves the card. Thank you, guys. Okay, so this designer series paper measures 4 inches by five and a quarter inches. And I've been using this side so much, it's funny, because this is a really pretty kind of soft, subtle polka dotty pattern on here too, petal pink. And then it might be gray, I don't even know, and then with, with kind of gray and white flecks. But we are using, because I thought this kind of looked like, you know, out in nature, like maybe a frog might be somewhere hiding in that, right? Um, okay, and then the other things, mainly scraps, but these pieces right here. So another piece of mossy meadow cardstock that measures three inches by four inches so then the whisper white is just a quarter of an inch smaller so it's two and three quarters by three and three quarters okay um and then these are just little scrap pieces that we're going to do some stamping and die cutting on okay so we are going to let's see we're going to get our ink we've got our stamps oh and yeah this one also uses that more than word stamp set that is one of the new coordination celebration coordination products that you can order now as of today right so we used that little thanks for and hopping by can you see that so that's what i was talking about where this stamp set coordinates with images from the so hoppy together stamp set right because they had a few sentiments on there but now we have even more possibilities right You've got the jumping in and hopping by. So you could say, thanks for jumping in. That'd be kind of cute too, right? Okay. All right. So let's see. We are going to use our Mossy Meadow ink pad. Okay. And we are going to stamp. Let's see. I want the hopping by just on. This is a little scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. Press straight down and straight up. That looks good. Okay, let's see if we can get our thanks for on here too while we are. So we've got this little thanks for. I just need to make sure I have it. Uh, make sure that's inked up enough. We're going to put it maybe right about there. I like to press. I'm not wiggling or rocking, but I do like to make sure I got all my ink off um, my stamp and onto my paper. So that looks good there. And then we're going to stamp our little froggy again in our Mossy Meadow ink. Lots of hoppy sentiments. <laughs> That's cute, Marianne. I like that. Okay, I'm going to make sure we have him inked up well. Okay, he looks good. So I opted. <coughs> a lot of people have been coloring. And, I, you know, sometimes I feel the coloring and sometimes I don't. And earlier this week, when I designed these cards, I, I wasn't feeling the coloring. So I loved that you can just stamp him. This is uh, Pear Pizzazz, just a scrap piece of Pear Pizzazz cardstock. Then I stamped the little froggy with my Mossy Meadow ink. So that works very nicely too. The other thing I have to show you guys is the framelits that we are using. These are my absolute favorite from, yes, tap, tap, tap. That's right, Sally. No squish, squish, squish. Or you get ink all over. You see how, how um, not inky my blocks are when I only do the tap, 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 even with the photopolymer stamps, right? So no squishy, squishy. Okay, but these framelits, the stitched label framelits, were like an absolute favorite of mine when they were released in the annual catalog, and they're always kind of a jumbled mess, but you guys can kind of get the idea. You guys maybe remember I used that one a bunch with all the detail. I love that little guy. I've used most all of these. I don't know if I've used the little ones yet, and I haven't quite figured out what's going on with that one, but I will someday. Um, but we actually, oh, I guess I already pulled those out. Or maybe they fell out. I don't know. But we are using these two little framelits. So we've got the little heart with the stitching around it. And then this other little label with some stitching around it also. Okay. And then we're going to use our 
pop around framelit dies too. Okay, so let me get my big shot here. I've got the big shot with the magnetic platform. Um, oh, what was my no? I said something about <coughs> oh being able to buy like the celebration coordination products. Maybe you buy a couple of the sets of framelits, and then you can still get a free celebration choice also. So great time to shop for those new celebration coordination products and then also get more free celebration stuff too. Okay, so this little label framelit we're going to put right on the hopping by. The heart, I just have to move my paper. You guys see this. It happens to everybody. People get frustrated. You cannot fight the magnetic field. You have to move the paper to wherever the framelit is kind of trying to move to. Okay, so hopefully that doesn't happen with the frog. It's funny how it just happens in random places because this is really, a, this one and the label are the ones that really require they be in the right place. Everything else, as long as it's on the cardstock, we are good to go. Okay, so look at that. Look at all the die cutting we can do. Because they're all pretty little pieces. Oh yeah, I do have two of the lily pads. I had to make sure. Oh, did I say, okay, Karen, I might have said the occasions catalog. These stitch label framelits, sorry, they're definitely in the annual catalog. And there's a really great stamp set that I'm totally drawing a blank on the name of. But if you guys look, if you look in your catalog in the back, you'll find the stitch label framelits. And then it'll tell you the stamp set that it coordinates with. It's probably stitch label something or other, but I can't think of it right now. Um, what's the name of that framelit that I missed? So either the stitched label framelit, Sally, that is what is cutting out the hopping by and the little stitched heart, or the hop around framelits are what are doing the lily pads and the frog. <laughs> okay so are you guys talking about Marianne are you talking about the magnetic platform how it's frustrating when you have to move yeah it is but there's nothing we can do about it it's still way better than having to use stickies all the time is how I look at it so there's the cute I love the little scallop edge and the stitching right there's that guy and then the heart look at teeny tiny little oops I thought it was gonna come out the teeny tiny little stitched edge on that heart, okay, cannot lose that, right? Let me put those up there, okay. <clears throat> and then our little Frogger guy. Did you guys ever used to play Frogger? That was kind of like the video game back in my era. <laughs> Frogger. So look, there's a little frog from Frogger. And then a couple of the lily pads. We're just going to pop those guys. And I love that they gave us two of them. So you don't have to run it through, you know, oh, it's exhausting having to do that two times, right? So instead, we can just run the two dies through once. Okay, mm, I think we do need the big shot again. I couldn't quite remember whether we needed it for the next project or not, but we do. Okay, so we get rid of that stuff. Okay, we're gonna move this guy out of the way, and I think that we can put this together. Yeah, the magnetic platform is what you guys are talking about, how frustrating it is. <laughs> mm. Okay, sorry, I have to keep sipping. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Let's make sure we have everything. Okay, you guys can still see that, right? Okay, so where's my adhesive? Right here. Okay, okay, okay. So we can start adding. We're just going to put some adhesive on. And you guys know, I generally, I see people put adhesive all over the place. I usually put it in the four corners. I almost never put any in the middle. And I don't have a problem with it coming off. So just kind of know that, you know, some people run all the way across. If you want to make sure, if you have something that's embossed, I definitely add a lot more adhesive. But just for um, basic cardstock like that, I think if you get a good amount in each of the four corners, it also allows you to be able to kind of lay it down, make sure you like where it's placed, and then press firmly. If you don't press firmly, you should be able to lift that back up and move it if you didn't get it quite where you wanted. Okay, so again, on my regular cardstock, and because this is bigger, I might add a little bit, because I don't want it to pop up either. All right, so we're going to put this piece of designer series paper, and I love, this is a great use of that kind of uh, uniform, like designer series paper like that. I love that you can use it as like a full background. Now this one I am putting more adhesive on because I've got two layers of cardstock here. 
So I think you need a little bit more just to make sure it stays on. Okay, so we've got that there. Now we can, oh goodness, I forgot to put, let's, I think I can probably, I don't think I pressed too hard. I forgot to put my, this is called Old Olive Linen Thread. I forgot to put it on, but I think I can lift it up. We're gonna see what we can do here. But I love, I haven't played with it too much, but I love that I, it's kind of curled around here, so it kind of, I wish my hair did that too. <laughs> love that curl, right? Okay, so we're just gonna kind of pull some off the bolt, and I'm gonna lift this up so that I can kind of run that. And I did a couple of loops around here. And let's see, I wanna make sure I have enough, so I'm gonna pull that over a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna go around. There we go, and now I am gonna tie my bow. Okay, and you should be able to move this if you don't get it quite where you want it. It's actually a lot easier to move it if you haven't already stuck it down to your card, but we'll see what we can do here. Okay, and it is, it's funny, it's a little bit, little bit maybe too curly at times when you're trying to tie and actually see what I'm doing, right? But I think you guys are gonna get the idea here. Oops, did I pull the wrong one? I feel like I'm breathing really heavy. <laughs> Cause I am. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the stuffy, stuffy nose, right? Okay, so I think that's gonna be all right there. And then we're gonna put our little hopping by. We're gonna add him on right there. So I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. And I'm gonna use the big ones because I want this to kind of stick down like over top of the little twine or linen thread, the old olive linen thread. Okay, I wanna hold that all kinda of in place there, okay? Then, because I forgot my little silicone craft sheet, I'm gonna use the back of my dimensionals because I've got these little baby pieces and I don't wanna get sticky all over um, my work surface. So I do this a lot when I forget to bring this. If I'm at my craft table, I can just grab it and it's not a big deal, but when we're trying to do this on the live and I get made fun of if I have to run back to my craft room to get the things I forget, right? Okay, oh, Sally's given us some numbers. The stitched label framelits and the stitched all around stamp set. Thank you, Sally, the good point of reference here. Found on page 17 in the catalog. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's awesome. So if anybody needs those, I love these things. I just love all the stitching. There's so much good detail on them. And then, oops, where are my dimensionals? Oh, they're right there, because I flipped them upside down. We're gonna just put one dimensional on the back of my little froggy, and we're gonna kind of have him standing on the lily pads. And then there we go. So we've got our thanks for hopping by with the sweet little heart on there. Isn't he so cute? So that's kind of a fun little use of your new hop around, I think they are called, the hop around framelits, okay? So I hope you guys like that card. I think he's pretty darn cute. Okay, and you guys remember, I just have to show you again, because now we made this card um, last month at the Simple Beautiful Card Class, and now we could cut him out. Let me make sure. Yeah, actually we, we could cut him out entirely on his little unicycle and the little flies, Sandra, not the bumblebees, the little flies. We could cut those little guys out with our framelits too. So super duper cute. Okay, what do we have here? Um, Karen says the neighbor is playing music in their, in something next door so loud. Oh boy, oh my gosh. We'll tell him to turn it down a little bit. That sounds a little ridiculous, Karen, that it's that <laughs> in their car. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's craziness. Yeah, tell him to turn it down, Karen. I don't know, you probably won't do that though, will you, huh? <laughs> All right, so I am going to clean with my little chamois. I actually rinsed this so it's not quite as like ridiculously dirty looking. And I just ran this right like in my sink. I just run water over it. Kind of keep running and squeezing until it, it kind of runs clear. It kind of gets some of that ink out of the pad. I think it's crazy though that it's almost like it absorbs it and then it doesn't ever put it back on your stamp even when you clean. So I love that too. 
Okay, good. So we got those out of the way. I don't want to lose anything. My little baby framelits. I got to make sure that those go back in there so that they don't disappear on me. Okay, I think we are good with this one. All right, you guys want to see what we're going to make next? <laughs> yes, flies, Sandra. I know, I know. I was, oh, yeah, I got it though. I got it. A little confused last week. Okay, so, all right, this is going to be the test for me now, guys. Let me get this stuff out here, too. Okay, I'm going to have to show you guys. I'm, like, super duper excited about this card. So I have been dying to play with, this is the All Adorned stamp set, and I love, I'm going to try to get really close. Can you guys see how that fits? Like, the two different stamps fit kind of inside of each other. And you guys, I did not even use my... Um, Stamparatus. You certainly could if you wanted to be super um, careful, but you know what? I think using the darker um, purple, the what is that gorgeous grape, and then trying to fit the Coastal Cabana inside, I think that was a little bit forgiving too. And I'm going to show you a trick on how to line things up. But this is the other card. This heart, Marianne, is from the Meant to Be Framelits. I'm going to show you those in just a sec. So if you can see, that teeny tiny little stitched edge right there, if I get it in the right light. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see, I think you can see that now, right? So the little scallop, and I love, way back in the day we had border punches that made those little scallop edges, but I love, <laughs> oh, she's saying it's beautiful again because the photo doesn't do it justice. Yes, I agree. I think you're talking about that stamp set, I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, so the framelit, okay, we've got the little scallop edge and the stitching, I love. This is one, so way back when I did the meant to be class to go, I didn't use that piece, and I've had a little note on my craft table that I have to make sure to use that little scallop edge at some point and then the little heart too so we stamped it and then the little scallop edges around there too so I'll show you those um let's see what else do we need let me get my stuff out here okay oops oh I have another note what does this say hmm yeah okay <laughs> I write myself all these notes when I prepare and then I forget to look at half of them when I'm um, talking about stuff here. But I, I think we're all right. I, I was reading my note from the last card trying to figure out if I told you guys everything, but I think I did. So I think we're good. Okay, so we need those ink pads. Um, we're going to do our framelit cutting later. Yeah, okay. Trying to decide whether I should really get everything out yet or not, but I think we're good. <coughs> okay. So here is that all adorned stamp set. So we're gonna use that stamp right there and then we're gonna stamp this one right inside of that. And it is so cool how it works. And then we also use the little lots of love sentiment. And you guys have seen, I've used that a bunch of times, that you are pretty much the best ever. Now this is one of those stamp sets that you can get for free with a $50 order now during celebration. Um, and then this one, I love that. I have yet to actually use it. I keep saying that. There, this one is great when you do it kind of in all four corners of a card. It just creates a really pretty kind of frame around things. And then they've got the little Miss You stamp and the little heart and then the other little guy there too. So great stamp set, but I was confused about how I was going to use it at first until I started playing with things. So, all right, let me give you guys dimensions. So here we go. Our gorgeous grape cardstock. We cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, again, we scored it at the four and a quarter inches. Okay. Then we have, this piece goes on the inside and I actually already did my, well, part of my stamping. I guess I did do the blue inside there. I got too excited when I was prepping. So I'm just leaving it, but this goes on the inside. So this one measures five and a quarter by four inches, okay? Yeah, you're right, Marianne, the corners are the best part of that stamp set. This is a piece of Whisper White cardstock that goes on the front of the card that measures four and three quarters by three and one quarter. And then these are just a couple, actually this is a scrap piece. This is for our sentiment, the Lots of Love, white, Whisper White that measures one inch by three and a quarter inches. And then this is the um, gorgeous grape piece that we are going to die cut with our um, Be Mine stitched framelits. So this one measures one and a half 
by four and three quarters. And then the last one is our piece of, this is part of the Brights Collection Designer Series paper. This is, um, it's actually Bermuda Bay, now that I'm thinking about that. Or is it? I think it is. I think it's Bermuda Bay. It's either that or Coastal Cabana, because I'm using Coastal Cabana ink, but I feel like that looks a little bit more like Bermuda Bay. Huh which I didn't really intend to do, but that's okay. Either one would work. So two inches by five and a half inches for that one. Okay, so let me show you. Let's do the stamping first. So I have my stamp and pierce mat. I'm gonna put a little scrap piece of paper because I did go around on the edges. And I don't really wanna get ink all over this if I don't have to. Okay, so I have my gorgeous grape ink and we are gonna use this medallion stamp first. Okay. So as always, the tap, 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 nice and easy. And I just kind of started stamping it. And of course this one isn't gonna look exactly like the last one. And I didn't even worry, I mean I tried to keep it straight, but I didn't even worry, you know, if they weren't like perfectly straight. It turned out well enough that I thought, okay, I'm just gonna do this for you guys. And hopefully, <laughs> it turns out well enough this time too. There, okay, so there is that. Look at all the beautiful detail, right? And oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're also gonna stamp just this little strip with our, this is the little heart from the meant to be, that little guy right there. We're gonna stamp that heart in gorgeous grape ink right on our gorgeous grape cardstock. Okay, so there, we have that done. Now we're gonna come back in with our Coastal Cabana ink with the other um, kind of medallion looking stamp, I'm gonna say. <coughs> okay, so tap, tap, tap. Now, what I wanna show you guys, I'm gonna show you on this one. So can you see those little dots right there? I tried to be able to see those inside of, can you see that little like kind of crisscrossy thing? I wanna see the dot inside of each of those little crisscrossy things on each of the edges. So, and the only difficulty is the camera's kind of right in the way, but I'm moving this around until I can see that dot inside each of them. And you know what? Even if it's off a teeny tiny bit, I don't think that you can tell. So that's the idea. Those four dots right there, I'm going to line up. So sometimes I, I think I have it, and then I'm like, oh, it's off a tiny bit. Okay, so we're going to try that again. It's almost a little bit easier. We only have like one or two of them to line up. Okay. Concentration. Isn't this so pretty? And I loved, I'm all about using like these bright summer colors because it's March 1st so we're getting closer to spring right okay and then I'm actually going to do on the inside this is the one that I already stamped my gorgeous grape I'm going to do one more time this is the piece that's going to go inside of my card there we go and then one last actually let's punch this real quick so this little strip so that I know where to put my sentiment. Okay, so that was my triple banner punch. And I'm gonna use my Lots of Love stamp in my Coastal Cabana ink. Make sure it's inked up well. Okay, there we go. All right, now we need to do our die cutting without losing any of the other pieces. So we need to cut these two guys right here. We're done with that one. All right, big shot, where did you go? Right here, okay. Let's see. So sorry if I got like all into what I was doing. I don't know if I missed comments. If I did, I apologize. I will come back and take a peek at those when we are done here. Okay, so these were the Be Mind Stitched Framelits, a total chaotic mess as usual. Um, lots of hearts in here, lots and lots of different hearts. It's better to look at it on, um, in the catalog but lots of beautiful hearts lots of stitching and where are we are using oh there's even more on the other side so I don't know it's an awesome set of framelits sorry we are going to use these two little babies right here okay so this one 
gonna move that down. We just want to, it doesn't really matter how much, it didn't even have to be one and a half inches wide. You just need enough to kind of put that on to get a little scallop edge along there and have enough that you've got something to adhere it to the card, basically. There, okay, and then there's our little heart. Love all that stitching, and I love, so I think this is a great way to show that those uh, Be Mine stitched framelits don't have to just be for Valentine's Day. Anytime you need little hearts or this super cute little stitched scallop edge. Okay, maybe you guys can see it better on this one. Isn't that, look at that, the little stitching and the teeny tiny little baby scallops. I just love that. I want to use that all the time. I think it's because I loved those punches. Way back in the day, we had the border punches, and we don't have too many of those anymore, and I love them. Okay, so then here's the little heart. So I love that, too, that it has the stripes and then the little stitching and the scallop edge. So stinking cute. Okay. Get that big shot out of the way, and... I think we are ready to put things together again. So I am going to start with, I'm about positive that this is Bermuda Bay, not Coastal Cabana. Looks like you guys all like lost the connection. Everybody, it says everybody's joining. I'm like, I thought you guys were all on here already. Maybe it just, you lose the connection and then come back. Okay, so that piece is going to go right there. Then we are going to add some adhesive along this thing. And we just want to put this right on the side of here. There we go. That looks good. And then I am going to add a good amount of adhesive on this one, too, because I've got those two pieces. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Sally, thank you. The Meant to Be Bundle in the Occasions Catalog. It is on page six. Awesome bundle. Okay. What do we think? Okay, looks straight enough. There we go. Okay, now I am going to put a couple of dimensionals behind my little banner piece and then also behind my heart. I always have to pop a little something up on dimensionals, right? So we're going to put that one right there. Lots of love. Oops. With my little... You guys saw that too, right? <laughs> I love it with my little heart there. And then I had to add a little bit of bling. So these are the glitter enamel dots in, I don't know, Bermuda Bay or Coastal Cabana and Gorgeous Scrape. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of these little guys. I'm gonna put one right there and I'm gonna put one in the corner of my heart. And there we go. Oh, actually almost. We're gonna put this one on the inside too. Did I show you? Yeah, just like that, right? Oops. There we go. I just got a text. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta swipe that up and read that. So hopefully that didn't like move too much when I did that. People are, you know, it's Friday. People are making plans. I sure do love Fridays. <laughs> okay. All right, I think we've got it all. So what do you guys think? Did you enjoy that one? I know I did. I loved, I have, just so many of these products I'm always like dying to work with and there's not enough time to play with everything so I was really happy to be able to play with that new all adorned stamp set so don't forget you could potentially if you wanted to get the little froggy framelits the whatever everything's called maybe the hop around framelits you could get those hop around framelits you could get the uh, Four Seasons Framelits. If you ordered both of those, the new coordination products, then you would be at a $50 order and you could get the All Adorned Stamp Set for free during celebration, right? So, okay, don't forget, if you're new to Facebook Live, I always like to make sure to review so everybody knows the details, the plan, right? So if you put your order in of at least $30 by next Wednesday, I'm going to send you these two cute cards in the mail as a thank you for your order. And your name goes in the drawing to win. Oh, no, I, that was last week, the Hop Around Framelits. This week, your name goes in the drawing to win the Painted Seasons stamp set, right, that is featured on that card right there. And, oh, that's why I wanted to show these. 
So that stamp set is also featured on all three of those cards. So all of those cards show great detail for the Painted Season stamp set that can be yours with just a $30 order online. Make sure you use the host code when you shop online. If you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment and then you get a free celebration choice right now too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for humoring me too and listening to all my ramblings about my kids. I, I, it's kind of fun for me to kind of start out that way while I'm waiting for people to hop on and I just appreciate you guys uh, hanging in there with me. So have a great weekend guys. I hope you were inspired today and we'll see you next Friday. And let me know if you guys have any questions on any of the new uh, celebration coordination products. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye everybody.